of the last 11 points for Portland. Jack is fouled. Great block out here. Shot clock winding down. Look at Antonio Harvey. Keeps Shaq behind him. Fans thought it was an over-the-back foul. Shaq could not handle it. But look now. He can attack. You've got the Lakers on the heels. Shaq is not in the picture. you got a chance to get some early offense. Now, Portland will take that kind of play. That is sad. I was just getting ready to say the same thing. Phil just sort of twisted the needle in a little bit. He said, Shaq, you go ahead and take that technical. Now, the game was out of reach when he took it. Well, as Scotty Pippen said, when, uh, when Shaq begins to hit technical fouls, you know it's, it's pretty much over. And Shaq is headed back to the line last Wednesday night. What a performance by McGrady. Oh, was that 21 points in the fourth quarter and overtime? Wow, what a performance. And they finally broke that streak against Milwaukee. Wallace, one for nine. Brady hit 20 straight for Orlando. Last week in game two against the Bucks. Three-point lead for the Blazers. We're early in the second quarter. Good job by Greg Anthony, the next one defender, in fronting Kobe Bryant. Now, in great position on Sabonis. Well, they cannot let him catch it that deep. Mike Dunleavy said we cannot double team him if he catches the ball that close to the basket. So they've got to do a better job of fronting him and making him throw over the top. That direct pass kills the Blazer defense. Anthony for three. Greg Anthony, who's come back from ankle problems, not play much. Uh, during the course of this season, bone spurs in his ankles. Not able to match what he accomplished two years ago. Plus player can shoot the three. Stoudemire on the run. Stepping away, did not want to pick up his third foul. That ball looked like it slipped out of his hands as he started to jump. Now he's a lefty. It looked like it slipped out of his hands and went fortunately into the basket for him. But again, Stoudemire out on that break. That is what has separated them right now from Portland. At the end of every quarter, they have made a surge. It's happening once again today. Wallace. Oh! And Sabonis. And a triple ball. Wallace, one for ten from the floor. Lakers, 50. Blazers, 45. Lakers have won their last 10. They finished with eight straight of the regular season. They've taken the first two of this series from the Blazers. Portland, on the other hand, has dropped its last five games. Stoudemire, a little out of control, but got bailed out. Foul call on the Lakers. That's uh, on Ori. That's a non-shooting foul. The next foul puts uh, L.A. over the limit. Here comes... Brian Shaw. Here will place Kobe Bryant. So Kobe, after the slow start, has come on in this series from downtown. Oh, good play by Fisher. Ori diving for it. Lakers on every loose ball. Here's Peel. Oh, Neal giving the Lakers a 52 to 45 lead and Shaq has 14 and that's demoralizing. That is demoralizing. You work so hard on one end and he goes the other end and just power dunks a shot against you that you have no chance to defend. The building, that's all. Just make sure you don't hit anything, keep in the building. Shaq will go up and get it that time with one hand. Rick Fox, that'll be the easy assist he'll get today. Keep it in the building. Just keep it in the building where he can get his hands on it. One plus one, good advice. 